Good morning! What's up guys? I think I'm gonna head off to the aquarium store and I wanna check out what they have now. I'm totally a coral addict. You might be like, why are you spending so much money on it? But I'm spending a lot of time also with it. I'm really enjoying it. If you guys were thinking about getting an aquarium, I hope like you were able to make an educated decision now that I've been showing you like my vlogs and stuff like that. And hey, being a coral addict is a legit thing. You should check it out. I remember when I first was planning on getting a tank, I was like, no, I don't need it to put any coral in. And then I like bought my first piece and after that, I was hooked. Like being a drug addict, except it's not bad for your body. It's finally getting a little bit chilly here in California. Gotta realize that since I'm from Hawaii, the weather fluctuates about five degrees. <laughs> from the summer to the winter time. It goes from 85 to like 80 degrees, so. Check it out. So much to choose from. Have a nice day, yo. <laughs> So everybody now at that aquarium store is watching my videos. <laughs> They're like, oh, I saw you drinking aquarium water. That's pretty hilarious. I ended up buying a lot more pieces of coral, of course. You know what, but I enjoy it. And so, and I, I do stir into the tank more than like I watch TV. So I think it's worth it. I'm sorry, tank, you're going to get agitated now. So these are the pieces I got today. I got recordias, three colored recordias over here. I got a toadstool mushroom here, which will look so awesome. I got a neon green one, and I got a digitata, my first SPS coral, small polyp stony. Got my coral in the coral revive right now. It's a good practice to put it in like a coral dip. This is called coral revive here. And what that does is before you stick the coral in your tank, it kills off like all the little like things that you don't want in your tank. For example, when I first started doing it, I didn't stick it in Coral Revive, so that's why I have all these little critters in my tank that like hitchhike onto the coral. It's a good practice. I wish I had done it sooner. Okay, I glued everything in. Check it out. That's a pretty cool piece. It's called the Digitatus. Right now, everything's kind of in shock because I took like an hour to move everything around. I had to actually lift up these rocks and stuff like that to get these recordias in. Yeah, we'll see what happens when I get back from the gym. And so, while I wait for everything, I'm gonna head off to the gym! See you there. <laughs> I had a painful workout today. When you're not I'm cycling my pre-workout and since I don't have any right now, ugh, it was death. <laughs> that toadstool coral right here, toadstool mushroom coral, it kind of reminds me of like a hairy apple. <laughs> if I let it grow forever, in like a few years, it would fill up the entire tank. Check it out. All the fishies are swimming around. Look at, look at my yellow clown Gobi. He's so cool. I, I like it when he swims. It's really awesome to see him. There he goes. That's it's like his swimming is like really cool, but really rare. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna head off to Target because I need to do some errands. The best thing about this elevator, even though it's super slow and noisy and dirty, is that it gets cell phone reception full bars. I'm listening to London Bridge from Fergie. How come every time you come around my London, London bridge wanna go down? What does that even mean? Apparently, Fergie says it's supposed to mean whatever you want it to mean, which means that there wasn't really a meaning for it. <laughs> she just wanted to instigate something that might sound dirty. Well then why don't we just, how come every time you come around, you make me wanna row, row, row your boat? Every time you come around, you make me want to ring around the rosy. Yeah. <laughs> come around, you make my hickory dick, you make my mouse go up the clock. Okay, that sounds dirty. <laughs> before I go into Target, I thought I would stop off at PetSmart. I've never been to one before. Let's see if they have any aquarium stuff. Check it out, PetSmart. Look at all these aquariums. Cool, maybe planning out for my next one. <laughs> They only have freshwater fish here. How boring. They, freshwater fish aren't that interesting. 
They look so... Ew, that one's just disgusting. I find these to just be depressing. Oh look, I should get one of these. It would really class up my aquarium. <laughs> oh look, this is like the one from Finding Nemo. Oh my gosh, they have so many. I don't want any of these. Oh, fake plants. Bio bags? That sounds disgusting. Doggy day camp. Aww, look at all the dogs. Oh, look at all of them. <laughs> What's the point of having a slide? <gasps> Hi! Oh my gosh, the mother load of toys. This is what I'm talking about. Bentley won't be able to break through this. I think I'm gonna get him this one. Look, there's no way he can break through this. It's made from Kong. <laughs> now off to Target. Yeah! Got my hair products. Seriously, this is just Scrabble. Look how expensive this basketball is. $50, oh my gosh, crazy. Okay, I'll admit it, selling food at Target is a good idea. I think I bought food every single time I've been to Target now. <laughs> Simply lemonade with raspberry, that sounds good. Or with mango, hmm. I'll get raspberry. Okay, gotta just buy what I came for and leave before I spend any more money. I'm getting old, I don't remember where I parked my car. <laughs> now off to l l Hawaiian barbecue. Mmm, Hawaiian barbecue comfort food. Mixed barbecue plate with all the goodies. Oh, look at that. Chick barbecue chicken, barbecue beef, and kalbi. I'm gonna watch a movie, and I'll see you guys after it. I just finished watching an animated film called A Cat in Paris. It was nominated for the 2012 Oscars for Best Animated Film. Probably you haven't heard of it. I hadn't heard of it until it was nominated. But here's my review on it since I have to watch every single animated film. The only one that I have left to see now is Chico and Rita, which you probably haven't heard either. The other ones that are nominated for Best Animated Film for this year was Kung Fu Panda 2, Rango, which won, Puss in Boots, A Cat in Paris, and Chico and Rita. So those were the ones, and I'd seen all of them except for A Cat in Paris and Chico and Rita. So my review on A Cat in Paris. The movie comes from France, and it's dubbed in English. I didn't really care for the movie too much. I felt like a child drew the movie, which I think that was what they were going for, but it felt like a child wrote the script <laughs> as well. And the story, I felt the story was just like not really credible. It wasn't that great of a story. The good thing was that they did a good job at pacing the movie. It was only an hour long. I wanted to like it though. I was looking forward to seeing this movie. My final rating for A Cat in Paris is one and a half out of four stars. Sorry. This is from IWasteSoMuchTime.com. These are life hacks. I think these are pretty cool. You can hold all of your different plugs right there on the side of your desk. That's pretty cool. Wrap a wet paper towel around your beverage and put it in the freezer. In about 15 minutes, it'll be almost completely ice cold. Fill plastic water bottles a quarter of the way full and lay on the sides and put into the freezer. This way, when frozen, you can fill the water and have ice cold water on the go. Actually, that's a pretty good idea because I would always put it vertically. <laughs> These are so mind-blowingly stupid, and yet, why didn't I think about them? A comb makes the perfect nail holder. Enter passcode. Use accented letters as your passcode. No one will ever be able to guess it. Use your cell phone light underneath a water bottle to make a lantern that distributes light better than the direct beam. If you're at a hotel and run out of chargers, the TV usually has a USB plug-in. Put pancake mix in a ketchup bottle for a no-mess experience. So true. But then you're gonna have to clean the bottle out. What? Need an inexpensive cookbook holder? Try a pants hanger! Wait, what? I gotta try this one. Fresh corn, microwave for four minutes, cut here, squeeze, careful, it's hot. No hairy mess. Wait, there's no hair on What? I don't understand this one. Put a wooden spoon across a boiling pot of water to keep it from boiling over. Why? All of my problems for cooking ramen would be solved. Doritos are great for kindling if you can't find any. Really? Ah, I like this one. Take pictures of friends holding items you lent them with your iPhone so you can remember down the road. After popping microwave popcorn, separate the opening of the bag just enough for the unpopped kernels to fall out and shake upside down over the bowl or the trash. Put coffee in an ice tray so when you make iced coffee it doesn't get watered down. 
When heating leftovers, space out a circle in the middle. It will heat up much more evenly. Those were so awesome. I hope that I will remember to do them <laughs> now. I'm getting ready to go to bed now, but I thought I would share with you something really weird that I like to do as like bedtime ritual. It's so weird. If you hadn't taken a shower like right before you go to bed, what I like to do is the last thing before I go to bed is I just go into the bathtub and I wash my legs and my feet only <laughs> and like just feel what it feels like under the sheets or whatever. I don't know why, but it just like feels so fresh and clean. Before you judge me, just, just try it out and then write in the comments below what, what it felt like. It feels amazing. And with that, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Goodbye. For seven. Triplets of Belleville. If you have not seen this movie or heard of it, make sure you go out and watch it. It's an amazing movie. It's a French movie, but there is no speaking in the entire movie. It's really cool how they do it through caricatures and the drawings and everything is just really amazing. I watched it three times in theaters. Number six, Spirited Away. Hayao Miyazaki movies, they're amazing and this is one of my favorite ones. I felt like the only thing that kept it from becoming a perfect movie was the ending I felt was a little bit rushed. Number five, Wall-E. 